Hello friends, I am Catherine and today I wanted to show you the first part of the book binding with this cover that we poured just the other day. If you want to watch the video where I poured this cover, I'll include uh, a link in the iCards for you. And this cover is pretty much dry. It is still shiny and flexible, which is exactly what I want for a book cover. Um, so the first thing that I have to do is pull it off of the tile that I used to pour the paper on um, because this tile also happens to be one that I use in the book binding process for pressing my signatures into a text block uh, when I'm gluing the spine together. So we'll have to pull this off of, pull this paper off of the tile in order to get it out of there. And today, what I am going to do, there we go, tile is now free. What I'm going to do is set this aside, flattened out so that it flattens out just a little bit, I think. And I will take toothpick out of there. I will take um, some pieces of paper. I've got some eight and a half by five and a half pieces of paper that I'm going to be using to so signatures together today with. I've got these papers already cut to the size that I want. So what I need to do first is take and fold them all in half and set them together in signatures five pages each. Hopefully. I don't know how many signatures I'm going to end up with. I haven't counted this paper out. I just cut it and a, an amount of it that felt right. Once I've got all of these signatures um, folded and set up in five page groups, then I am going to stack them all together and mark down the spine side where I'm going to punch the hole. So I've got this handy dandy ruler, the length of my paper set up. I like to use five holes when I'm sewing signatures together. Uh, so I've got this already set up to the size that I'm going to use and at the places that I'm going to do. So I'm going to stack them all together and mark them all at once. Then I'm going to separate them back apart again and punch holes at each of the marks. And then I'm going to sew them all together. Once I've got them sewn all together, I'm going to press them between two uh, tiles and clamp those down with some handy dandy clamps and then I'm going to spread glue over the spine to hold everything together and that will be it for today. Now this is a pretty long project so we're gonna speed up through that that way you don't have to watch me sit here and fold a bunch of papers and sew a bunch of papers um, which is why I explained everything that I was going to do first. So I hope you enjoy, and uh, I look forward to seeing you at the end in tomorrow when we do the cover making and attaching the signatures or the text block to the cover. All right, see you in a moment.
Well, I need to find something to wipe the glue off my hands, but we've got our papers folded, marked, sewn together, and pressed and glued. So that's it for the text block. Now we just have to wait for the glue to dry. So I will be back tomorrow to show you the making of the cover and attaching the text block into it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I put up new videos every day, so there's always new, something new to see. And I definitely encourage you to subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.